How's it going? Hope you guys are having a good November Thanksgiving season. To me, it's time to break out more of like the dessert kind of beers to me. Today, I'm coming in with a porter. This one is from a brewery that I'm surprisingly have not done on this channel yet. And that would be Lancaster Brewing, Brewing or Lancaster Brewing to my guys from downstate Pennsylvania. I know there's a certain way you're supposed to say it. And if you don't, some of them get pretty angry at you. But this is Lancaster's Brewing's Shoe Fly Pie Porter. An ale with molasses and vanilla coming in at 6.2% alcohol. Uh, it does not have a date on it. I don't know when this was canned. But it says, bringing to mind the flavor of homemade Pennsylvania Dutch shoe fly pie. Your brewed or ported with a pure Lancaster County molasses and a cover array of toasty malts. We then add pure vanilla for a flavor profile that's smooth, sweet, and uniquely complex. So, 25 IBUs, 15.2 OG. Uh, supposed to be deep brown. But to be honest with you, I did not check untapped. Uh, I don't remember if I've had this one before. I feel like I have. I feel like I have had this one before, but I honestly don't remember. Shoe fly pie, however, is one of my favorite styles of pies. Um, if you've never had it, I highly suggest looking one up. The best you're gonna find, though, are in Lancaster themselves. So, super windy. Getting ready to storm here. I'm gonna try to get this in real quick. So here we go. Let's get our crack open. Pour it into my Birdland glass. Rest and peace. Pour is a very, very dark brown not quite black stout, but definitely, you know, you can see that dark, like, dark hot chocolate mocha. Not much of a head. Um, you do have some kind of that yellow, orangish amber around the bottom of it. Not, not super dark, which, you know, it's porter, it's what's expected. Do get some of that sweet molasses coming through. A little bit of vanilla. Get some of that crumminess that you would get on top of the shoe fly pie itself. It smells fantastic. It smells nice and sweet. And I'm expecting it to be on the sweeter side. Yeah, sweet molasses. Almost like a dark, like plummy, raisin esque kind of a smell going on there. Very bread crummy, um, kind of like a cookie crumble. Only other thing to do is get a, a taste on it. Smooth creamy decent thickness to it it's not real real watery and thin down like a lot of porters seem to be that molasses is coming through strong um if you're a fan of molasses taste you'd like this one there's a lot of molasses coming through here a little bit of car caramely Definitely sweet. Um, does it taste like a shoe fly pie? A little bit. Not much. So I'm, I love me some shoe fly pie. I can find it locally around here, but it's more of like a mass produced style. Uh, I like more of that homemade kind of a shoe fly. Um, it's kind of got like a toffee 
sticky texture to it. It's not real sticky, but. And that's what I'm getting kind of that little bit of toffee. Definitely got the molasses coming through. A little bit of vanilla, not much. Is it bad? Not really bad. Not really the best either. Um, Lancaster Brewing. You can find these guys in Pennsylvania. I'm not sure if they're outside of the state. Definitely downstate Pennsylvania you can get these. I picked this up in Williamsport, Pennsylvania at a Wegmans. Six pack and mixed pack. It's seasonal, so you may pay a little higher dollar for it. But imagine a six pack of this, probably around $13 or so. It's decent. I think with a shoe fly pie itself, it'd go really good. On its own, not so much. But a decent hearty meal would probably go good with this also. 3.5. It's good. It's doing its job. Could be better. So, thank you for watching. And until next time, cheers.